yes. Let's thank God for what he's doing in the sanctuary. Amen. 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 Oh, that was out of obedience. Let's thank God for what he's doing for you personally. All right, give me one hour. Uh, Psalm 68. Who's here is here. I know what Cammy's doing. Cammy just sold a car, man. So he coming here with cash money. What a blessing. He's had a great month. Great, great month. Give me Psalm 68. Okay. Uh, thank God for what he did for Vira, for May Lee. Thank you, God. Amen. We've got a special prayer request for uh, a family member, Queenie's family member. But yeah. Psalm 68, Pastor Linda is preparing for trial all week. Did she do a great job on oh, Sunday? Oh, awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. Give God some praise. For it. She's a special vessel. Yes, she is. Thank you. One more time. She's a special vessel. Yes, she is. Got to learn how to appreciate folk. Thank you, God. Special vessel. So she's preparing for trial. Psalm 68. What verse? Yeah. Psalm 68. So glad to see the new homeowners here. All right. Ain't missed the beat. Yeah. Right. Yep. If your home is so fine you can't come to church, you're in the wrong house. Mm -hmm. Amen. Then uh, I'm going to start it off with a personal testimony. Go ahead, Bishop. Because God did it. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. He did it. He did it so you could see it. Amen. Remember it. what I had to give up to start the dealership? I got one of it. One of them right back. It's outside. Oh, you got to hear it. He never drove it. He never drove it. Yeah, that's it. Never drove it. Set it in a corner for over a year. Huh? Never drove it. Never. Matter of fact, I got to drive. Those cars has to be driven. I need it. It's, it has to be driven. I might, might even take good service because you're supposed to drive them. And the other one, remember, it took two cars. Right. He's not driving that one. He's saving that for Raphael. Whoa. <laughs> I can't make this stuff up. Ow. Huh? So those of you who are here tonight, I don't care who don't show thank up. You, thank you. Hey, we can go you, back Lord. to COVID days. Thank you, Lord. But whatever's on me is on you. That's right. That's right. Thank so there's you, something Jesus. that you thought you had to give up. You came tonight, you're getting it back. Whatever that thing is. Something you gave up. Huh? Something you gave up, you getting back. Oh, man. That's... I, my mind and jump to something else that I read every morning. Uh, first, I'll show you the principle. Give me Psalm 133. Something you gave up. Never drove it. Just sat there. Something you gave up. La la's in the land. La 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 la. Well, we got to wait on that. Got to wait on the rest of that song. So, see, they know it. Song older than you. Psalm 133. Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. We are in unity tonight. You came out for a blessing. I just told you, you got a blessing coming. All right. Amen. I'm, we, 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 it's a lot going on. There's school. There's whatever. But somebody came out here for a word. And I just told you what happened. It happened in one day. Awesome. Huh? The seed that I sowed into Bishop Wagner yes. is still fruitful, still people. Fruitful. Yes. Huh? And that ain't all. Something else coming with it. It was all done in one day. One day. The day after obedience. Yes. Some God told me to do it. Like, I didn't do that for that. Boop, 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 boop. You know how we are. How we are. Yep. No, he said, do thus and so. Right. I said, I didn't. I hadn't planned on doing that. He said, do it. 
And that opened up a door that no man can close. Okay? Awesome. Awesome. So Psalm 133 says, we're together in unity. Okay? So here's the precious part of it. And then I'll take you to another part before I get to what I thought I was going to teach y'all. Verse 2. It is like the precious ointment upon the head. Okay, but the oil don't stay on the head. No. Nope. It runs what? Down upon the Down. Yes, Lord. Huh? Run down so whatever on is on me Run is on, on you. Send it down. <laughs> Send it on down. Now, folk tired of hearing about it, but you shouldn't be tired of hearing about what you have for you. Right, right. All right. Thank you, Lord. Where the blessing don't make no sense. Folk can't figure it out. You can buy a calculator. You can get a count. It don't make no sense. Huh? Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. How a man. God turned a man's heart. That's Proverbs 21 and 1. He turned his heart towards you. All you got to do is do right. And when he made it happy, guess what he put? He wanted to take a picture with it, a selfie, and said, it's my pleasure. Oh, my God. Huh? Can I help you? Didn't have to go to the bank. He said, I got it. I'm the bank. Amen. Uh, 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 no, ain't no bank. I'm just telling you what's on you. So you think you clapping for me, but if you got faith, you came out tonight, that's on you. Huh? There's something you did that pleased God. Thank you, Lord. There's something you did with tears streaming down your face that pleased God. Thank you, Lord. There's something that rolled on you that was supposed to flip you, turn you out, mess the rest of your year up. You swallowed it. You cried. You watered your own field. Amen. And you came out tonight at the end of the month to hear. There's something you ain't playing on. There's something you forgot about. You said, I'm going to stick with God regardless. You try to serve him like a zombie. God said, you don't have to zombie. I'm going to bless you. I watch you. I've been watching you. I've been watching you. I've been watching you. Huh? When I get to Psalm 68, God know how to show up in your wilderness. Huh? And when he come, he come marching. He don't come taking baby steps. He don't take Biden steps. When God show up in your wilderness, he's coming to right everything that's wrong. Somebody, you got something coming at the end of the month. When you already braced yourself and it'll always be this way. And I just want to make it to noon. How many of y'all had that day? If I just make it to noon, then if I can make it to three o'clock and then I can make it, God said, make it. You already victorious. Somebody thank God. Then you come out tonight. With problems, with things flaring up, with issues, and found out you ain't got the rest of the year planned. God gonna do something you hadn't planned on because He's been watching you. Huh? He's been watching you. Uh, here's a good part old Jackie Wilson song. Not the negative part. Here's a good part. Your whisper getting louder. That old Jackie was. Yeah, who Jackie? Who? Your whisper. Somewhere you said in your soul, I don't care. I'm going to choose Jesus. Somewhere you said, I ain't going nowhere. I'm going to choose Jesus. If this is what, if, if, man, don't make long term plans for something that's temporary. Because you came out tonight and found there is something. God has put you on somebody's heart. He's going to do it. Amen. Why in Amen. the wilderness? Because only God gets the credit. Yes, Lord. Huh? Only yeah. God gets the credit. Yeah. He's going to march through your wilderness. Yes, Lord. Ran down upon the beard. The beard. Yeah. The oil don't stay that runs down. Even Aaron's Aaron. beard. Huh? You tie mm. Aaron in the Ark of the Covenant. Right. Huh? Aaron's rod that budded, the almond blessing. Huh? What did he tell Jeremiah? He said, Jeremiah, what do you see? Man, man, my mind is, it's the stuff I be reading. Uh, uh, what, you, what, you, what you looking at, Jeremiah? Jeremiah said, and then, you know me, when you're going through, how many of y'all, mm, 
How many of y'all like me when you're going through, you're writing your Bible, but you write not smart aleck stuff, but sarcastic stuff? Yeah. Oh, y'all, oh, y'all phony. Oh, yeah. Y'all phony, boy. <laughs> You know, God don't suffer from low self-esteem. It, it's not like he's going to get on Facebook and tell everybody how you feel. Right. And he already know. Mm-hmm. Huh? So you can say something sarcastic. And God say, you know, I don't need you to help me run the world or your world. Okay. Huh? <laughs> okay, just me. All right. Well, you know, if it ain't you, it ain't no. you. But I ain't trying to be like you because you're a liar. Oops. <laughs> uh-huh. I ain't trying to be like you. Amen. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 1. Jeremiah chapter chapter 1. Look at verse 4. My mind is flipping. Then the word of the Lord came unto me. Stop right there. Everybody point to Bree. Somebody told me something coming up in your life. Everybody point to Bree. You don't even know. Say, be blessed. Be blessed. Sit down now. All right. Amen. Be blessed. Uh, God know how to pull you out of a crowd. Yes. Huh? Chiquita, God know how to make you the only banana. All right. Verse four. <laughs> then the word of the Lord came unto me saying, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Boy, that's some bad. That, that, that's, yes, that, that stops yes, suicide right there. Read. Right. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee and I ordained thee. A prophet unto the nations. Uh, when you really get down in the valley, you think God is making things up as he's going along. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's your scripture right there. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Huh? Yep. Come okay, on. let's look at the day. What's the day? The 29th? On your worst day. Yes, sir. He spoke you into these seats tonight. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Huh? Yes, sir. Huh? I, I mean, I'm just so glad God touched her body. You the May Lee movie. You go to the movie May Lee and watch this, watch this. <laughs> if it's a lie somebody else told, watch this. Huh? How many of y'all thought there were some things you weren't coming out of? Oh, yeah. Oh, but yeah. you're out of. Thank you, Lord. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> See, I should have. Uh, Jay said, is he ever going to grow up? I should have said, hum, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, he is. Yeah. I see real estate. I see a pool. My, I've been flat line. I didn't see nothing. All right, okay. Uh, but look what God did. Uh, I've been known quiet for a long time. <laughs> She going to quit bringing strangers in the church. She going to stay. She going to build a home and buy a bed. I didn't see none of that. No. Huh? But look at God. Look at God. And he ain't finished. No, he ain't. No, he is not. Uh, May Lee, man, it's like me and her mama would talk. I never even met her mama. How about in a mom? <laughs> May Lee said, I get out of coaching. I ain't coming back. That's right. Bye-bye. Uh, huh? She come with Mike. Thank you, Lord. Part of a club. <laughs> club girl. <laughs> club girl. God I already saw her reading, Woo. playing. Hallelujah. Her home opened up. Hallelujah. A refuge. Hallelujah. A hospice. Hallelujah. Huh? A builder of women. Thank you, Jesus. Huh? God already seen LaShelle there when LaShelle was in her mother's womb. Man, come on, somebody. God had already seen all that. Uh, Candace had to come through that. The Holtz had to come through that. All the uh, Lexi Poo, Dadrian. Yes, thank you, Lord. Had to come to a club girl's house. Huh? Oops. <laughs> How did that happen? Thank you for delivering. I said, I already know. He already knew. I sanctified thee, I ordained thee a prophet of the nations. Read. Then said I, Oh Lord God. <laughs> Go on, Creighton. Behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. Now, now, this means he was talking about he was 25 to 30 years old. Remember I told you these people that want to do it. He's like, ah, you know what? I'm, I'm, thank you. 
he almost hear him say, thank you. I appreciate that. You already knew me, but I ain't trying to do this. This is chapter one. Right. You saw all the stuff that happened. That's right. a real book. Mm -hmm. If you don't think your emotions are real, and they're real. It's how you feel. Read Jeremiah. Amen. He real about it. Amen. He's so real. God had to repent. Like, you got to hold up now. You said too much. Mm -hmm. How many of y'all have said too much before? Okay, come on. Uh, okay. Come on. How many of y'all have thought too much? You didn't say right. it, but you yeah, thought it. It's thought. Like, same thing. Thought. Same thought. thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. See, good thing we don't have test line, sir, because then you get up. You won't tell us what you was thinking. <laughs> You'll tell us the end result. Right. And make the rest of us who still think bad <laughs> feel bad. <laughs> but see, we don't have that problem here because we don't have test line, sir. Uh, who in here are you glad that God didn't hold you to what you was thinking? Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Was you thinking bad? Thinking bad. Were you thinking negative? Yeah. Huh? You were still here, but you had everything was outside. Your behind was out the church. <laughs> your mind, if your mind's out, your behind follows. Okay. Huh? But you stayed thinking negative. Who in here beside me tell yourself, shut up? All the time. I all I'm the glad, time. man. Yeah. Shut up. You ever be thinking some bad stuff? You're like, hey, just, shut up. That's, come on. Shut bitch. that mess up. I know you're right. Okay. All right, y'all. Yeah. I know you're right. No, you have to. Yes, Lord. Huh? Because we're, we're one of the ones that's, and it's a good thing. We're one of the ones, the man of God said, that Satan is seeking to devour. Which yes. means he ain't got you yet. Right, right. Okay. Read. But the Lord said unto me, say not I am a child. How about that for a rebuke? You ain't getting out of this. Read. Right. For thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Not optional. Oh, we got a CJ knocked out. That's what a car ride to do. Eight. Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, said the Lord. So, all right, Lord, why you tell me you're going to deliver me, which means you're going to face something, which means already I'm getting you out of it. This is a powerful statement. Yes. Read verse 9. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. This chapter one, read. See, I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down whoa, and to whoa, destroy. Whoa. What? To root out man. You know, Chris, he just wanted to be like the other young man his age. He's, if he was 25 to 30, he wanted to get married. Probably saw something fine right after, right before God says something or right after God says something. And like, why can't I be like the other young man? Like, no, you can't. Right. Uh, yes, sir. Don't, don't raise your hand because folk, but, but within yourself, how many of y'all come to the conclusion you're just different? Your, your course, you've tried to tell people Hi, yo. One person, like, I had to raise my hand. I'm sorry. That, that my life has just been different. Uh, and you know why that's, that's interesting? Because to whom much is given. Much is required. How many of y'all like, I wish I could just be like other. Man, people just say stupid stuff, crazy stuff. Don't have no review. Just keep. You'd be like, why can't I be like that? You can't. Step on foe. How many of y'all know some people that just would do anything to get ahead? Just step on yeah, foe. Yeah. Just have no. And you can't do it. Right. If you think about doing it, conviction comes on you. That's right, Bishop. You're just different. Right. Okay? And that's why it doesn't pay to look at other people. All right? Follow your own map. Read. And over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down and to destroy <laughs> and to throw down. Oh, man. To build. And to plant. Yeah, after all that rooting out, pulling down, destroying, and throw down, yeah. then he builds and plants. No wonder he tried to talk God out of it. Right. Most people that want to that want to do this, they never read verse ten. If they did, they tried to uh, <laughs> make a hit record out of it. Okay. 
Verse 11. Here's where we're going to go. Verse 11. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Jeremiah, what seest thou? Now, this is for somebody special night. Remember, I have one hour. It's a school night. I'm right. surprised. This is more than COVID came out tonight. Don't matter. I already told you, what's on me? Some of y'all missed it. What's on me is on you. Amen. Amen. I'm talking about a blessing. Amen. Uh, Thank you, What Bishop. I thought I had to give up is sitting right outside. I got it right yes, back. Lord. Amen. To the point I had to make room to put it in my garage. Come huh? on, Bishop. Lord have mercy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, you got something coming back to you. Uh, that's why enemy try to bit. knock you out or remove you. Um, something you thought was lost forever. No, just yeah. been sitting yep. in a corner yep. and going to get revealed right back to you. All right now. Huh? Uh, I think I uh, the, the right one too. Peter told God that he said, well, look, we done left all to follow you. We'll get to that later. Yeah. So here he says, so the word of the Lord, after he told him what he going to do. Right. Verse 11. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me saying, Jeremiah. What seest thou? Oh, here we go. Here we go. So, so, and this thing happens so quickly. So quickly. Have you ever uh, got out of your emotions and, and, and asked God to do certain things? And you had a little list. And you go, uh, you know, Lord, this is my request. The man of God said, so you didn't ask. Sometimes you don't ask nothing, so you can't get nothing. Okay. But I asked God to do this. Do this. Have you ever had a day where you asked God to do stuff and before noon he did all of them? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, God. Uh, you know what? Well, Thank you, God. That's Thank what you, happened Lord. on Monday. I had a list for noon. Beautiful. beautiful. Matter of fact, he did everything I said and yes, went beyond it. Come on. Bold us. <laughs> Just to show me you ain't running nothing. Before noon. Okay. Come on, man. And I'm sitting there like I'm watching a movie, right. but I'm watching myself. God, I just got up in the morning. Right. Uh, and boop, 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 and went beyond that. My Lord. All in one day. My okay. God. That's mm. Yeah, just real quick. All, all because of obedience of something that when I was in Paris, he told me to do. And I said, you know, because he don't mind you being vocal. Like, no, I didn't plan on doing that. He said, oh, I'll do this and so. So I know you didn't, but I'm telling you. Okay. And wow. Real simple, folks. Simple obedience. Which I don't have to tell y'all that. I could have just been disobedient. And hey. But it's good. And remember, anytime God tells you something, it's something you don't want to do. Okay. Usually. All right. Yeah. It's yes, something sir. you don't want to do. Or you hadn't planned on doing. Let's try that. Let somebody right. off the hook. Right. And then when you do it, and you're going to find out, you have to serve God against how you feel. If you can only serve God based on how you feel, uh, Horatio going to pull up in that Hummer. Okay. <laughs> which means you're going to get stretched out. You ain't making it to the commercial. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. He's going to drop those glasses on his nose, and right. that's the end of you. And, and, and when you die that early in the, in the show, you ain't coming back for no, you can't be on the show next year, all right? <laughs> folk going to remember that champagne glass in your hand and how you got stretched out and got pushed over a ledge, uh, how you got beat up in an elevator, whatever happens. You got hit by whatever, you know, you touch something and. You know, you was trying to blow dry your hair while you was taking a bath and the dryer fell in the water and electrocuted you. Somebody going to remember, so you ain't coming back. Uh -huh. But 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 if you're obedient. Yes, Lord. Any obedient folk? Huh? Yes, Lord. Obedient. Thank you, Lord. All right. How about that? That was too easy. How about obedient with tears? How about obedient with a migraine? Matter of fact, some of y'all with a migraine to my... How many of y'all had to talk yourself and convince, I'm going to do it, I don't, huh? Knowing that doing it, whatever, was just told, oh, y'all. Uh, come no, on, come on. Simple. Hey, come on, Bishop. So he tells Jeremiah, after he tells him everything's going to happen, he says, Jeremiah, what, what seest thou? thou? Why is that important? Huh? What seest thou? Because you don't have a vision, you're going to perish. 
So after he told Jeremiah all he's going to do, and, and all of it's negative, there's only two things positive. That's the building to plan. And Jeremiah says, I read this on Monday. This is what I read on Monday before God said, hmm. So basically what he was saying, Trey John, was telling me what you see. Uh-huh. Uh, so I'm a smart aleck. I see same old, same old. Uh. Mm-hmm. Uh. I mean, I know what you're capable of doing. I thought I did. But I just want to make it through the day. My Lord. No. Uh -uh. What you see. So then I wrote in my Bible, Vicky. I said, what do you see? And Jeremiah said, I see a rod of an almond tree. Now, how many of y'all know where I'm going with this already? All right. I yeah, see I a see. rod of I an see. almond tree. I see. I see a rod of an almond tree. Oh, my God. Huh? I, uh, that's what? I that right? see a rod right. of an almond tree. I see something that's going to be quicker than my imagination. That was my come setup on, for Monday. On, come on, come on, huh? Come on. Like, what do you see? Can you still see what you should see after being obedient? Right. He said, I see the rod of an almond tree. Wrote that back. Then said the Lord unto me, thou hast well seen. Yes. For I will. Oh, here's a word that goes with almond. Haste. Not almond joy. Come on, get that, get that, get that, get that, get that candy bar to your mind. Here's a word that goes with almond. Uh, I will hasten. Hasten, hasten. Not just my Fastly. Quickly. Quickly. Yes, Lord. Huh? Anybody got a quick praise for a quick blessing? Yes, Lord. Yeah. Anybody got a quick praise for a quick blessing this month? It's only about 48 more hours. Didn't you get 90,000 worth of student love? 185,000 this month? Are you in your home, Trey John? Huh? Are you... Who in here got a testimony, got a Psalm 6 8 testimony? You've been in the wilderness all month, but God marched through your wilderness. He marched. If he had taken Biden baby steps, you wouldn't have made it. But he marched. I will hasten. So I always remember Almond. How many of y'all like Almond Joy? Candy Boy. They still I make do. it? I do. Yes, yeah, so you make it. It's one in my car now, melting. I love them. Almond, no, almond means hasting. Right. The almond blessing means quick. Yes. Huh? The almond blessing means it's going to run you down and overtake you. Huh? The almond blessing is when you think you need some money down and you don't. Uh -huh. I'm like, no, -uh, no, -uh. your tie, your offer was your money down. I got you now, huh? All right. All huh? right. The, all right. the almond blessing. All right. If it's you, don't worry about somebody like, man, this is me. I know I came to that. If it's you, it's just you. You got to learn how to praise God by yourself. You got to learn how to be, huh? That's right. Huh? Yes, sir. Learn how to be a uh, Britney Spears when a right mind. Don't be earth when and fire away for the percussion session. You get with you? Praise God by yourself. Yes, the arm and blessing the overtakes you. Yes. Hasten. Yes. Quick. Yes. Quick. The quick blessing. Yes, Lord. This month. This month. Day right. the 29th. Right. Thank the next 48 God. hours. If it's you, it's you. Right. Uh-huh. If it's you, it's you. Something you hadn't expected. Huh? Something that the favor of the Lord landed on you. Huh? Something that the devil is fighting. You know there was a reason why he was messing with you, your mind, your spirit. Huh? If you have a dream of an almond blessing, get up. Don't build a sandwich. <laughs> I mean, I'm in the sandwich building business. <laughs> Don't build a sandwich. Say, God, I thank you. That means this thing going to be quick. I will hasten my word to do what? Perform it. Perform it. Yeah. I'm going to do this thing quick. All right. I know I got one hour. It's a school night. Oh, got 28 more minutes. All right. So let's get. Where was I heading? Oh, Psalm 68. Six, Psalm 68? Yep. Let's go back there. And then we're going to talk to the people.
that feel like they special. You know, sometimes when I read, I put my name in there. I'll be read. I'll be using my own name. Okay. I know all right. You, all right. Come on, Bishop. I know that. You read a J-Bass prayer all you want. You ain't J-Bass. No. I put my name in there. Yes, Lord. That's good. Okay. All right. You yes, do Lord. you. Huh? I put my name. Uh, the the uh, priestly blessing in Numbers, which I read every morning. I put yeah. my name in there. I love uh, it. Psalm 115. Huh? Uh. Can't be up there with coming here with some cash money. I sold a car, was on his way out. Man, hold up, there's somebody here at the lot. Went back, made a deal with it, went to the ADN. They're bringing him cash money because I put his name in there. That's it. <laughs> huh? You better ask God to bless your seven loaf, whatever you got. Yes, seven loaf business, seven loaf marriage, seven loaf mind. Hey, God bless your seven loaf. Huh? So he can multiply it. And that's what happened. I insert my name. So Psalm 68, wherever I left off at. Remember? I like this psalm. Yes. Let's we'll go. pick it up. Don't worry about it. Pick it up at verse 8. And I'm going to show you something. We're going to close out. You can give God one hour. He gave you a long time, didn't he? Yes. Yes, he did. Huh? And you was out there on the good foot, God. <laughs> <laughs> And now you got a bad yeah. foot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm telling you, this website with these, all these old folk trying to date you. Man, some people need to watch their pictures. You showing stuff that just, all right, don't worry. Yeah. Follow. You blowing up sandals and everything else. Man, come on now. <laughs> the third ship, <laughs> the heavens also dropped at the presence of God. What verse is that? Eight. Eight. Yeah, okay, that's good. You want a different one? Oh, God, when you went out, here's the Hebrew. Okay. Oh, God, when you went out before your people. Right there. When you went out before your people. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So here's the rest of it. He didn't leave you in the wilderness alone. No. That's, yes. When you march through the wilderness. You know what Hebrew says? He thinks the Hebrews are hip. It said, when you stepped with your step. <laughs> that, I'm, I'm reading Hebrew. Huh? Anybody old enough, y'all young, just don't worry, you're going to miss this front row one day. Anybody remember when God stepped with his step in your life? All right. Now. Oh, no, no. He stepped with his step. Huh? Come on now, y'all slow. If the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, can you imagine what God stepped when he stepped? Yes, yes. Huh? I thought that car was gone. Like, man, what are you doing? You get up and I said, uh -uh, I'm going to step with my step. Amen. Man. And when I step with my step, I'm going to put it right back where it came Come from. On, bless man. Huh? That's a step from yeah, God. That's right. Huh? Even to the point he told me somebody came there and tried to sit it. He said, if you ain't buying it, get up out of it. I just want to know what it feel like to sit it. He said, get out of that car. Oh, why? For God's step. Oh, man, you, got, you can't sit in that. You ain't cry. You ain't prayed. That's the car I sat in on the dealership floor and prayed. And God, I thought he said, no, he said, not right now. Amen. I got a lower the price for you. Man, when God stepped, nah, it's too bad. I'm going to be Britney Spears. I've seen him step with his step for me. Yes. His step. Yes. Not nobody else. His step. His step. Look for his step. When the almond blessing comes, that's what his step is going to be. Yes. He marched. Man, I know Hebrew was at hip. Read. The earth shook. The heavens also dropped Woo. at the presence of God. See that word forever in verse 8? I'm reading Hebrew. Mm -hmm. It said, there you show me that this is your way forever. Wow. For every distress and redemption. Now, I'm going to mess with the earth. Well, he messing with the earth now, isn't he? Sure enough. Oh, yeah, man. Pay sure attention. He messing with the earth. Mm -hmm. Verse 9. Thou, O God... Did it send a plentiful rain? Uh oh, oh, okay. Well, verse 9, let me read Hebrew. The earth, Vicky, quaked, even the heavens dripped. <laughs> <laughs> this is Sinai because of God, the God of Israel. Okay? Verse 10. Okay, this is going to bless somebody. Yeah. Thy congregation. Hold on to your knee highs. That knot about to come out the back. <laughs> Hold on to your knee highs. All right, because somebody said, this is for you. You came out on a Tuesday night. You know we only do one hour until we get this heat thing. We got a meeting with the 
HVAC people, we don't care. We come here to hear God. That's Amen. It. We here. It is what it is. Huh? Yeah. Write us a check and drop us. I don't care what y'all do. All right. You ain't going to do more than what God wants you to do. Right. Uh, that I do know. All right. Huh? They thought they built a theater in the suburb. They you built this because Deborah Washington was coming here. All right. That's now. why you built this. Yes. Uh, you built this. Yes. This select group. Yeah. I told y'all that. We had war all the time. In our right. minds, some military avenue. Yes, yes. <laughs> Verse 10. Read your point. I'm going to read the Hebrew. Okay. Thy congregation have dwelt therein. Thou, O God, hast prepared of thy goodness for the poor. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hebrew better than that. Verse 10 in Hebrew is generous rain you pour it down oh god your heritage here's a word you can deal with which was weary uh, you established right this too you did for us if we needed rain you lifted them and poured upon constantly rains of generosity and blessing somebody shout hallelujah rain huh That, that, that's why I got my beauty queens here. I want you to walk with God. I know your generation wild right now. You got Doja Cat. Cat think it's Doja. Megan the horse. Young Miami. which look like old Miami. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they looking bad. Huh? Uh, Kiki Palmer, who used to be uh, something in a bumblebee or something. Now she look like a Honda Accord with a bad transmission. That life and age, that child, boy, huh? But we want you to walk with God so that favor and blessing. So, and we want it early. Uh, your mama doing the best she can, and she, but, but I want a scholarship to rain down on you. All right, now. I want rain to come in the... I'm going to mess with you. Where you perfect your skill. Where everybody else try to get, help some boy who's flunking biology. But wants to experiment on your body. You get to avoid all that. I want scholarship offers to rain down on you. Huh? I want you to do on the court with Jackson. Don't let that score mess with you. That's, That's right. your time. You call that. You, you got on. that quarterback's uh, uh, phone number. Your quarterback, you got his phone number. You don't. I want you to build him up. Yeah. I want you to build him up. Uh, I want. I don't care how bad that beating was. You got. I only know the kid. You got more skill, but this is for you. Yeah. Man, I want you to build him. Don't let nobody destroy that thing. Build that man up, huh? So when you reap that thing and a blessing rain down on you. And years from now, he said, we win it. What was the score? 78 to nothing? Huh? Don't worry. No, lift your head up. No, man, 78 to nothing. Huh? And, man, I wanted the ball even one time. No, but the I went on Tuesday night. Man, that was a test. I want a blessing to rain down on you. Well, he said he felt bad. And, man, I mean, we already know. You, probably, you might end up being a quarterback just because. Don't worry about it. That was the best thing ever happened to you. Amen. Not how you went. How do you handle defeat? So a blessing come down on you. And years from now, huh? When high school's over with and whatever, that quarterback said, the star, the player, I was hurt. I couldn't get him the ball. I had a tiny hand. But he got me and said, you know what? That was then and this is now. And that stopped me from letting you man, huh? And I'll always remember to the point where you don't know who that kid is going to be later on. He obviously ain't going to the league, but he might be an accountant. He might be a real estate baron. He, You don't know what he going to be. Well, he put a blessing on your children and you don't even have none. Man, you got to be ahead of that. Don't let him bog him out. Go sit with him. Man, this next game, put all that behind you. Learn to do it now. Amen. Put all that behind you. Put all that. Watch what happened. How many of y'all know that ain't the final game? Oh, come on, man. And man, later on, I'm trying to help. I said, I can't wait to talk to him. I can't wait. I can't wait. A beating like that, it ain't going to always be that way. 
Oh, come on. I'm beating like that. Lift your head up. Uh, everybody down. They're going to remember you. Rock. Northwest is only three years, but they'll remember the star player when he could have dogged everybody out because y'all ain't like me. He built us all up. Even if it ain't in you, it's in you now. Amen. Well, you built everybody up. You a locker room guy. You go around and am I helping him? Why? Because I want favor to come. Huh? Favor. Huh? Well, the college coach said, remember that boy, that team that got beat seven to nothing? Well, the one player who was better than everybody, he went around everybody in the locker room and lifted them up for another day. I want him. I want that kid. I give him a scholarship. Amen. He'll be an NIL phenom walking around here with a million dollars while he's in because he took a beating. But wasn't beat down. Lord have mercy. So a blessing, a rain on you. Man, I want you flooded. You got to know. I know you're here because your parents make you come here. And some parents don't. That's their life. But I want you to know God for yourself. Where it rain. In your generation, I, it's, it's basically easy. Just have some common sense. Common sense. Don't be sneaky. Uh, listen, and you will send back to my blessing. Remember the man who blessed, the man who sold the $2 million home for six fifty. Remember, he was watching me. I'm not knowing that. He said, you remember? No, he was watching me. Uh, this is what's on me. So you can't tonight. That's on you. That's, uh, he was watching me. I'm not knowing that. I didn't know he got it like that. Oh, I want to tell you, I can't because he was so happy to bless me. He pulled my car out and say, it's coming home. Oh, my God. Yeah. Early this morning. I, I got to whisper what he called because here's what he said. Sent me a picture of it, pulled out and said, it's coming home. All right, don't, don't, don't. You on my, don't, don't, don't. Hey. <laughs> I can't make this stuff up. He said, you know, Cammy said again today, that's like my son. That's the son I ain't never had. Yeah, folk. I want it to rain. Huh? Now I'm gonna help you. This is for Todd. All right. So if he held the car for a year, so you know the value has to drop, right? It drops every into it. But that car is a special car. That's a black edition V eight S. That's they only made it two years. That's the one out of all of them. Watch this. I showed Cammy. So when I bought it back, I didn't buy it at what it's worth today. I bought it for what it was worth then. Wow. Okay. Okay. Now I gotta show y'all something. Wow. I bought it for what he could have sold it, but he didn't because he held it. See how I set myself for another blessing? Yes, so since I did that, he holding the other one, the red one for Raphael. Can't nobody buy it. And he know nothing but rich. Y'all play. See, see, if I was ignorant, he said he turned it down. Somebody wanted to buy it. He said it ain't for sale. All he knows is wealthy people. He told me some other stuff. He said it ain't for sale. I'm just holding it. Then the day he said, I told you you was getting your car back. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm about out of time. What's on me? I want on you. Amen. So some you think you lost. Your scholarship. Some coach. That's why. Man, I'm going to talk to you. Stand up, Jackson. I'm going I'm to help you now. I don't care if you lose that. A coach is in the stand. They already know about you. 
They're looking at your body language. In defeat. Coach don't care about no score. He wouldn't care if you won. It's how you lose. Your body language. Whatever happened, man, it don't matter. But, like, I want that kid. They was being trounced. And that kid's head was still up. Huh? And I might already, not in pencil, but in pen. When he graduate, I want him. Because he know how to lose. He, man, anybody can quit. I want, and you sit here right now. I'm like, man, I hate losing. I know you like it. I hate losing. And God said, but you're going to win if you listen. You're going to win. It look like you lost the game. It's better to lose a game and win a scholarship. Because the man like, who? I want that kid. I want that kid on my team. Huh? Who know how to lose. Huh? Who keeps his head up. Huh? So I don't, you know, I wasn't there. Hey, but one thing about being young, you can rectify it. Go around all your teammates. Uh, usually what happens like that, oh, this is going to be after the season, I'm going to quit. You quitting on your life, bro. Huh? I hate losing. But if you, what do you, if you see an almond tree, you won. Remember what I said. The man was watching me. And I didn't know it. Have a seat. I want you head the whole season. Not, man. Why is that important? Especially for a black child, y'all. Uh, didn't a, a first person for the football team get arrested? Coach gave him a second chance. He done messed up. He in jail. Yeah, he's done. On the team today or last night. Broke into something. He's in jail right now. Not Jackson. Because he's going to win in life. Amen. 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 In life. I'm going to say it again. Go around everybody. I don't feel like that. Which is just, just my, my eyeballs is older than yours. <laughs> Just trust me on that. That's right. I want a scholarship raining down on you. Yes. Huh? Yes. I want the newspaper to say, he, I don't care what your team does. Hmm? Somebody in that stand was watching. They, they saw that ability. They, been, they watching. Sure enough. How you lose. How you carry yourself. How you're around the people who are not as good as you. Okay? <laughs> Boy, that scholarship gonna look really nice, especially to your mom and dad, your grandmother. Yes. Yes. Uh, so then the newspaper go. I don't worry. I'll take my time up on you. Uh, 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 Jackson Crawford. He just got. He got offers. What are they like? But his team was. Yeah. His team's record does not reflect his attitude. That's right. We still see the ability. Thank you. Huh? Thank you. If he can have. Of the right attitude with a quarterback that's not gifted, what would he do with somebody gifted? Come on. Thank you, Lord. By the time, uh, what's that boy's name? Randy Moss got together. It was at the end of his career. He was a knucklehead because he had crazy talent, but it's attitude. All right? Finally, he'll t- he, he finally said, when I went to New England, they didn't put up with it. Randy Moss caught a ball that was basically overthrown. He took it with one hand. It had to be like 50. Tom just threw it. Tom said, because I know Randy Moss is down there. And sure enough, not no two hand, he went. Pulled it in. But that was at the end of his career. He showed out his first year with Culpepper. Just, but when he finally got, so he finally got his attitude right. But you're a great apostolic. Amen. You got the talent. Yes. You got to have a better attitude than you have ability. Yes. Yes. Cause it's your, cause as you go up. Yes. Man, you, it's the best of the best, especially at NFL. It's the best of the best. Yeah. So then it gets down to your attitude. Yes. 
It determines your altitude. Yeah. Look how Antonio Brown yeah. messed his life up. Yeah. yeah. Ask your daddy. Can't know, man. He's little, but just get with that attitude. Yes. He better keep all his money. Corporate don't want him. He got baby out of wedlock. It's just a matter of time because that attitude. Right. All the ability in the world. but a bad. Then you got people who can't even touch him. There's people in the league right now can't touch him sitting at home getting paid. Right. But he, okay. He, yep. Yeah, I added. That was worth it for Jackson because he's thank a star, you. y'all. Thank you. Thank he's you. a star. He's a thank star. You. Thank you. How much time? Seven, oh, I got seven minutes here. Seven, All yeah. right. Generous rain, you pour it down. Verse 11. The Lord gave the word. Great was the company of those that published it. Okay, here we go. Let's end it with this. Your heritage was weary. You get tired over here, y'all. You get tired. Somebody say, don't get tired. I'm not tired yet. That's why we don't sing that song. Right. <laughs> Some of y'all, the lead singer probably be lying. You know you're Already lying. tired. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Anything that lasts a long time, you get tired of it. Sickness, yeah. loneliness, anything that's too long. Right. All right. That's why Michelle Beans is a miracle. Yes. She got tired of taking that test. But God, but God, I don't care, man. You know, she, you know, she gonna live in a two million dollar home. She, she already sewing. She already redoing May Lee's house, which is really redoing her own house. Man, we got, we got some superstars up in here, folks. She redoing the whole house. Got us this, that, whatever. She doing it. The girl gonna live in a million dollar house. Get used to it. She don't invite you over. I tell you ahead of time. Why? Because she's passed the test. God going to rain on her. It's going to be a super arm and joy when he do it. Oh, I just, here's a thought before I go home. Huh? Here's a thought. She go to show a million dollar house and the person say, it's yours. She go to show, I'm going to say it again in English. She go to show an acreage, million or whatever she want. And the person said, it's your. I don't have nobody to give this to. It's your. Because I've been watching you. Oh, man, we own it. I've been watching you. Are y'all ready for somebody to be in the church with a $2 million home with no mortgage? You might as well get ready. Amen. Because I know May made good ground. Huh? Oh, okay. It's too many folks that got healed there. Man, your heritage which was weary, which is called your heritage, your heritage. God takes care of his own. You prepare with your goodness for the poor. Huh? God said, verse 12, the Lord will give out a word. They will announce to a great multitude. When God speaks, everything has to obey. Amen. Every head bowed. See anything I can stop on a dime, right? Bishop. Yes, I can. One hour. Yes, Lord. Thank you. For an almond blessing. My God. That's oh, you know I got five minutes. Hold on. Let me let me let me let me let me go. Look 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 at look at Mark. Don't worry, it won't take five minutes. Look at Mark ten for all the smart Alex like me. And then in verse 28, instead of saying, Peter, just say your own name because you're a smart like too. You just ain't honest enough to say it. All right. You want to start at 28? 28. Then May Lee began to say unto him. Say low. Not shorty low. He died, y'all. Not shorty low. Low. Lo. We have left all and have followed thee. He didn't want to get personal. It should be in red in your Bible if it's cheap. And, and Jesus, Jesus answered, answered and said, Verily I say unto you, there is no man, no man, which that, means no man, woman, nobody exactly that have left house or brethren, brethren to sisters, father, father mother, mother, wife, wife children, children, all that for what my sake huh. and, and the, the gospels. gospels. But he shall receive uh, a what? A hundredfold. In heaven. 
now in, in heaven in this time when we all in this time get to heaven where well, the day of rejoicing I will be no 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 see no, they know that song too we, we ain't singing that see, this no. is talking about right now right now in this time in this time run the list houses brethren Sisters, Sisters, mothers, mothers children, children land. Okay, with the per- how many of y'all don't mind the persecution if you get the hundredfold? All okay, right, y'all no, bad and mad. mad. Take a hundred times yeah. your salary. Oh. You'll go in there singing and you can't oh, sing. Oh, oh, oh. A hundred times? Huh? A hundred times? My Lord, you a millionaire persecuting me. You'd be so glad you didn't ball your fist and clean the floor with that girl to let that blood on the floor. Yeah. Huh? A hunt with persecution. With persecution. And don't don't marry somebody who don't even know you exist now, but God already see it again. And you say, you know what? I didn't think you was gonna come along. I didn't think you was gonna come along. And all the persecutions, but while you was coming along, you ingested this word. To where you call each other the phone. Are they trying to persecute you right now? Man, they are tripping. They are just sitting here, just clowning, whatever. My man told me, he said, the craziest thing in the world is a, because in business, he just has just told you when he called me in Chicago. Talking about, I think, I, think, I think you and your son could take this business. I said, well, I'm on my way to Milan. He said, you know, I got a place there. No, I don't know that. I ain't good gracious. I ain't know that. Huh? He said, it's sad when you, these loan officers at the bank, and he know he worked, but you use other people's money in business. That's, you know, and he knows he's worth more. And I mean, he's told me some crazy stories where he's, he's buying this and shifting this and whatever. And said so their problem is, you know, he's worth much more than them and it bothers them. Huh? You know what's so stupid about that? You a loan officer and this man's a, a, a that's crazy money. Man, I'll be trying to shine so I can work. For... Uh-huh. People don't have that kind of sense. Uh, I tell you one deal. One deal they was trying to mess with him and he's like, you want... he said, I tell you what, I'm going to come back. Now I want to fool with you now. Now I want to fool with you. And when I come back, you add up all my accounts, and I want my cashier's check. Huh. We're talking about a couple dollars now. Right. I'm pulling all of it out. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, it's too late now. Right. Right. <laughs> you ain't know who you're talking to. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Now, you go explain to your ball why I just emptied out. Oh, go ahead. Uh-huh. That, that's my man. Uh-huh. Playing with him. Huh? <laughs> I learned something different about him every time I talk. Huh. Hmm. And that's what I want on you. Go back, Jackson, because you're young. He was watching me. Yes. He loved Cammy. Oh, my goodness. Here's what Cammy did. His time's up. Here's overtime. So when we're going to do the deal, you know me, I'm like, I got to give up all this stuff, which I now have one back and the other one ain't going nowhere. Right. That's which true. I didn't know then. Remember, I wasn't begging and whatever. It, no, no. It literally has not moved. Right. Like, I got to go drive that car hard. You know, those, that car like that shouldn't sit for a year just because. It's, it's a racehorse. Here's what Cammy did. He's right upstairs with some money. My money. <laughs> Cash money. Like, I didn't tell him. I show up. You know, man, I don't my product sandals, folks. He already know me. Cammy showed up in a suit. I looked at him. (laughs) (laughs) The rest is history, folks. You know it is. (laughs) I didn't tell him. They must talk. He might talk to me once a week. He might talk to Cammy five, six times a day. Doing deals. Yes. They don't include me in the deal. I just pay for I Shut up. They wouldn't include you either. 
They just do deals. <laughs> That's good. That's I just, good. I just, I just, I gotta pay my mechanic tomorrow. I, 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 I just, I just left out, y'all. I ain't hurt. No, that's right. A suit. I didn't tell him. The rest is history. Yeah. Today he said, "I told you, I knew something was on your son." How about that? How about that? And there, CJ wanted to help me wash the car today, but I couldn't help him spray no water on the. Whatever's on me is on you. Now, you go home with it. I don't care what you I'm going to go home. Whatever's on me, I'm showing you. I know I told Jackson right. Yes, you I did. I know I told Thank you. I'm so far Thank ahead. You. I already got you in a scholarship Thank in you. the band with an NIL. Uh-huh. Thank you. Thank you, Bishop. Thank you. Oh, I mean, come on. He's a young man. He don't like to look. But I'm watching you. Yes. If you did the wrong body lab, clean it up tomorrow. You got three, two days, three days. Trust me. Just trust me on this. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Benson got B93. Now, who? All that. Yep. <laughs> Somebody watching. Somebody's watching. You're going to be messed up in four years when a coach say, here's why I'm offering you a scholarship. I've been following you. All of us knew you had more talent than anybody. Right. We wanted to see how you lose. Yes. Don't be trying to call me because I'm in a pickup. You was right, Bishop, man. man you tripping, man. I told you I was right. I was right all day tonight. <laughs> you only got the money. Now, and I should borrow some money from him, right? There you go. You owe me some money. <laughs> uh, uh, big money. I need another Rolex. Don't buy this one. I already got this one. I need another one. Because I told you, I done put a Rolex. I done put a million dollars in your pocket tonight. Yes. More. Y'all don't believe that. I can tell by the way you Ex- clap. Every head bow. Except, Look, I, you, except, you Omaha folk, go back to Omaha. Thank you. I in your mind. Every head bow. I'm in overtime now. I'm one hour. Beautiful. Did he have? Yes. Yes. Trust me. They watch it. Its ability speaks for itself. Thank you, man of God. Oh, every head bow. While the other kids across are fighting. Who going to get an orange jumpsuit first? Then adults who was crazy. I knew some of them. Oh, come get your kids. No, how about you go get your kids you abandoned? Go get their daddies that you laid with. They were fighting. Just clowning. Pray, KT. I'm in overtime. Precious Lord, Father, and Savior in heaven. Lord, we thank you for our bishop's blessing. We thank you, Lord, for the reminder that the oil runs down, dripping off his beard right now. Lord, we thank you, Lord Jesus, that he reminded us first thing that God will give us back what we lost. Ooh, that's on. That's tonight. That's the whole thing. It's coming back. We thought it was over. Not only what we had, but because of the almond blessing so quick, a hundredfold, Father. Hallelujah. So we're going to be blessed by you marching in our wilderness, Ooh, Father. Hallelujah. KT. Good, good, good. And Lord, we are right now going to listen for your cadence so that we can rejoice. Boy, that's good. Come on, put your hand together. That is good, good, good. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Who in here hear footstep? He marching in your, he seen you crying. He see you tired. You weary. All that means is abundance of rain coming. That's what that means. He going to rain down on you because you is heritage in Jesus name. Is it one tonight? Everybody here has been baptized.